Hi, I'm Victoria Jane. I'm a photographer here in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm here to show you three tips of how to shoot still life photography in your home. Let's do it. <laughs> My first tip for shooting in your home is to make note of the light that comes through your windows. Spend a day making note of how the sun shines through your apartment. Make note of the kind of light you like. As you can see, we have a really soft overcast day, so the light is definitely much softer, but it's still creating a really, really beautiful shadow and reflection with the glasses I have. So I'm gonna take a photo. My next tip is to surround yourself with things that inspire you. Plants, flowers, a photograph taken by your favorite photographer. I love to surround myself with vases and plates like it's colorful and it's beautiful i have so many too many books of flowers and colors and it's really fun if i'm just feeling in a lull or just kind of uninspired just to flip around and be like oh that's a really cool shape anything can inspire you so just keep your eye open and if it sparks joy pick it up and bring it home with you and for my final tip i recommend take a break from it you're in your space and this is supposed to be a creative outlet and you're supposed to just be creating something that brings you joy and excitement and positivity and so if you're feeling frustrated or something's just not flowing or stacking up the way you want it to, take a break from it because that negativity will sit and because you're creating in your home, that negativity will stay in your space. And as we've learned in the past year, it's really important to make a positive space out of your home. So have fun, create beautiful art and enjoy. <laughs> If you like this video, you'll love my course on still life photography with botanicals. It's available right now on Domestica via the link below. I hope to see you guys there. 